Hi guys, this is AC Game or back with a new video on Counter Side. So in today's video, what we're going to be doing is taking a look at the skills for the Awakened Jushi Yoon, as well as the skill for the brand new character that, as well that it came out as well. It's called Lyseria Tar, Tia, something like that. I'm, I do apologize for butchering the name, but yeah, I'm, this is a very, very hype video because we all saw the video, we saw the promotional video for the brand new Awakened um jushi yoon but now we can actually go ahead and take a look at his skills so hopefully you guys like this video make sure you subscribe to the channel because i will be making more content on this brand new awakened character as well as um more content on counter side make sure the post notification is um, on so you guys get notified when i make a new content so anyways let's go down and take a look at this uh so the maintenance i don't really want to cover news on the kr server all i want to do is just focus on the character but anyways look at all the stuff that will be coming up to the kr server it says episode 7 will be coming Coming out so this is the new unit um arata arant um jushi yoon and Lurisia. uh this is the character's design i think everyone has already seen it already but it actually looks so cool up close um i will take a look at the skills but um first of all let me show you actually yeah, we'll just do the skills right now so jushi yoon taking a look at his basic attack using his sword hits the target in front dealing aoe damage Taking a look at his passive, after critting four times, receives a buff. If, if Suyun is hit with a basic attack during the buff duration, he counter attacks with a long range attack that reaches the back line. For four seconds after the counter attack, he can't gain stacks of the buff but gains the um, debuff immunity instead. So at skill level 5, the counter attack is still true damage. Oh my days. True damage is basically you ignore defense, you ignore anything that's going to stop you from dealing uh, the true amount of damage and target hits has its um, skills sealed for four seconds so i believe it hits um and it can't it hits the back line so if they if it does hit the back line then the targets will get um the skills sealed which is amazing for four seconds though but it's such a pretty decent skill and that's just his passive so going over to his special when a non-ultimate attack hits stars um, Jushi um, Suyun, the attack is nullified. What the heck? The damage is nullified and he counter attacks, stunning the target for 2 seconds. For 6 seconds after casting the skill, Suyun's skill haste is reduced by 50% but evades all attacks. That, what? <laughs> At skill level 5, the cooldown of his skills is reduced by 6 seconds each time the passive counter attack is used. There is no limit. Jesus. Um looks like there's no limit to how much this cooldown can actually get reduced because usually they would have said it but yeah um, every time you counter attacks the skill level or skill uh, cooldown is just going to keep reducing by six seconds so eventually it should reach zero over and over again and it should be spamming a special i think that's what it means Apolo apologies if i do get that wrong but that's what i think that skill is like but yeah it looks like it's going to be evading attacks so many times so as a striker character it's going to be dishing out big boy damage it looks like and it's also going to be evading damage so therefore he is going to be protected uh, i guess the special has to be used for him to actually get um to get the damage notified and then he counter attacks uh, it okay that's actually pretty nice um counter attack i wonder how much the damage is going to be though so anyways taking a look at his ultimate cut through reality dealing damage to targets in front of him evades all attack for 12 seconds after casting this skill at skill level 5 the cooldown of his skill is reduced by six seconds each time the passive counter attacks is used jeez i'm telling you what's his passive is proc every single time he's just going to keep reducing his cooldown reduction uh, so it's cooldown sorry so the best build for this character uh, for this character is definitely a cooldown you're just going to keep spamming a special and ultimate and every single time it's just going to get keep getting a counter attack and that is actually pretty nice because it's also going to be evading attack that is something in a special as well as its ultimate i actually think this character is going to be very very broken in pvp um, evading attack is just going to be nutty as hell um yeah let's take a look at his um what's it called his full arts as you can see look at it looks very very stunning uh, there we go it's sd character a short version and we don't we got this over here um i will be downloading this image as well but yeah this is this art uh going down to the next character as well this is a new waifu unfortunately i didn't even see any animation for this character um, i don't know if there's any animation there yet but we will take a look at that but first of all let's go ahead and take a look at the skills for this brand new unit 
Basic attack inflicts AoE damage to targets in front with Holy Fire. Passive, when deployed, grants the three allies in front hit start immunity for special skills and lower, and immunity for 5 seconds ex excluding mechs. Immunity? Oh, immunity to death? Jesus. Okay, that's pretty broken as well. Excluding mech characters. Why does she hate mech characters? The skill duration can't be extended by redeploying uh, Lucidia. Yeah, I'm going to say Lucidia. Sorry. Yeah. At skill level 5, recovers 10% of the target's HP after the buff ends. So the buff is only 4 seconds. Uh, wait, 5 seconds, sorry. So the immunity is only for 5 seconds. Even if you keep redeploying the character, that won't happen again. So only 5 second immunity. It's having broken at first i thought you if you keep redeploying the character you keep getting that but uh, i mean she does give it to the allies in front so in pvp this is going to be a nice skill uh for five seconds making your character's immunity immune to damage which is pretty nice as well as recovering 10 percent of target hp after the buff ends so instead of the immunity you're not going to be giving out an uh, hp recovery so very very nice going over to the special strikes down enemy with a brilliant light and dealing aoe damage and knocking them back Enemy hits uh, have their defense reduced by 25% for 7 seconds. Okay, I think this character is going to be decent. Is she a striker? Let me see. She isn't a striker. She's a ranger character. Why is she acting like a striker? She reminds me a lot of Nanohara Shifuyu because of the uh, what's it called? defense redu reduction. Uh, she seems pretty nice as well to use as a supporter as well. But yeah, very, very nice character. At skill level 5, the cooldown is reduced by 5 seconds. That's kind of disappointing for her level 5 um, skill buff for the special, but whatever. Going over to the ultimate, open a rift into a corrupted world, dealing damage to all enemies and reducing the attack speed by 100% for 5 seconds, excluding bosses. Duration is reduced by half for mechs. Uh, duration, okay. At skill level 5, the skill always hits. It's still a very, very huge debuff, thinking about it. Attack speed reduction of 100% for 5 seconds. That's pretty huge as well. So, based on what I can see with both of this character, they actually look pretty stunning. But let's take a look at the art for this unit. So, this is her right now. She looks so, so amazing. Um, I actually thought she was going to be an operator when I actually first saw her. But I'm actually so glad that she's a character and new waifu coming to the game. So, this is the SD character. Now, we're going to take a look at the anime not gonna lie i really do love this animation i'm also gonna download this so i can use in game or well not in game in my recording so that's what i want to focus on there's other stuff coming there's new chapters um i don't really want to talk about this this is all the banners that will be coming out with the character um juice you will be getting its own mission like every single awakened character a bunch of events and a bunch of other stuff as well but yeah that's not what i want to cover what i want to cover is the character i, I want to say something about the um awakened juice Yun as well sorry let me go over to whilst i talk about him i will show you this form over here so the skill descriptions that i got for the brand new character are all from the uh, counter side appointment guide so i will also link down in the description as well as this page over here but let's take a look at what Antilla wrote about the awakened juicy Yun. obviously this is just his first impression so shuren looks like a counter attacking monster that can survive quite a lot thanks to the 100 percent invasion on both his special and ultimate i also thought that as well his base stats are pretty crazy oh we could even see his base stats did we um let's see no we can't see his stats but it looks like his stats is going to be nice as well so go back to here his base stats are pretty crazy 70k hp 1.1k defense 840 evasion and 1.2k crit at level 110 he also has damage tolerance stats so esterosa lisa yoon and awakened mina receives received it recently oh it's a, it's a brand new buff then damage tolerance oh it looks like all these other characters i just talked about got a buff which makes it quite tacky and then yeah that is what is written about the awakening uh juicy you let's take a look at what Antilla wrote about this brand new character his own first impression an air ranger who keeps her allies alive at all costs and debuffs enemy a uh, kit looks crazy for pve but in pvp there's quite a lot of characters that can remove buff like ling sheng or recently released Sir sirena operator by the time she releases in the sea server a lot of us are going to probably have ying sheng so i do understand what until i wrote about her probably going to be useless but the uh, yeah the debuff i see i think is going to be amazing the reduce reduction in attack speed is also 
very very huge so anyways those two characters look very very hype tell me down in the comment section what you guys think of both of these characters like we got a brand new waifu and we got ourselves a brand new osbando and a brand new like op character i actually think it's gonna be op as long as he's able to counter attack and it does his special on ultimate he's gonna be nutty his reduction for his uh, cooldown is just gonna be his, his cooldown reduction is just gonna be mad definitely need to stack him up with cooldown reduction so that you can reduce his cooldown for his special on ultimate even further and this guy trust me it's gonna be big boy damage i can't wait for this character to come to the sea server i will definitely be summoning for this character and um yeah hopefully you guys like this video it's been your boy ac gamer once again tell me down in the comment section what you guys think about this brand new character Characters. will you guys be start will you guys start saving for the awakened dc yun at the moment or what are you going to still summon for the other op characters in the game it's been your boy ac gamer and i'm out